Ford F-150, 5.4 liter, and it's had a spark plug blowout. It was repaired by the customer, and um, the helicoil kit that he put in uh, it had to be repaired again, and uh, we repaired it. Our, I helped them repair it again because uh, there was an issue with it, it popping out again, and we rechased the thread holes, and we re-put the helicoil uh, thread repair kit back in. Um, lasted about... I don't know, I'd say probably a month or so, and then now it popped out again, and it did some damage to the cylinder head. Um, I think probably from damage from the first one, and this is what it looks like. So that helicoil, let me get in the light here. That helicoil kit, exhaust gases went by, and it looks like it chewed up, and it was doing this, it was blowing the electrode out, and this is what happened after the first time he repaired it. It was doing this too, it was blowing the electrode out of the spark plug. And, uh, but now the cylinder head is damaged and uh, we looked at it with a bore scope and it is, um, the aluminum has damaged and it, it cut a hole in the aluminum just like that steel is. So we're putting another cylinder head on it. So here's my theory as to why this failed. Um, I think this helicoil failed because the spark plug now seats on the helicoil insert rather than seating on the cylinder head. So it's pulling on the thread. So as vibration happens, the, the threads of the helicoil can vi vibrate up and down, damaging the helicoiled threads in the cylinder head. And the spark plug's not actually pulling tight against the cylinder, cylinder head anymore. It's only pulling on the threads, which is like having a loose spark plug. And then this is going to vibrate up and down. I think that's why this one failed. And my theory is if you, we put a helicoil in where the spark plug seals on the cylinder head, it'll pull the spark plug will pull on the threads of the helicoil and it'll seal up against the cylinder head and it'll stay pulled tight and it won't have the opportunity to vibrate back and forth like this on the threads anymore. And I think that's why this insert uh, repair kit failed. So here's a new helicoil repair um, helicoil for this engine that he'd bought out at a auto parts store in BC when he was out there. And uh, yeah, that's what a new one looks like. And that's the kit right there. So I got the cylinder head off that Ford F-150 and I just want to show you the failed helicoil repair. So what I think happened is the, the spark plug seals on the helicoil after it's been put in. And when you tighten it down, you're not actually tightening the spark plug against the cylinder head. You're tightening it against the helicoil. And uh, the helicoil, it's like having a loose spark plug. The helicoil uh, just vibrated up and down until it wore out the aluminum. And, well, the threads don't look in very good shape. And combustion started leaking past and it uh, wore a groove into the cylinder head where combustion pressure got by and it wore out the helicoil, the plug, and the spark plug hole. So I would not recommend using that particular helicoil kit. If you like this content, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.